Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the Never Do Th Through the GUI, what you can do through the CLI channel. I am Vangelis and today we will be watching, you will be watching Web API Benchmarking .NET 6 VS Rust Actix Web Part 2. Now this will be uh, a very short video and uh, I am creating a Part 2 due to this, uh, <coughs> to this comment that I received in my previous video as you can see here I received this uh, comment which is correct and says uh, the following bugs in C sharp first name plus uh, one should be first name plus I for the loop which is correct so I fixed this and should set the capacity on the list construction as list user 1000 which matches what was done in the Rust code this should help the C sharp performance as avoids resizing the internal array which is uh, again correct and this is the code I initialize the array to 1000 uh, I'm adding the user just like the Rust code uh, and I fixed the plus one to the i to the index so I fixed those things plus he this uh, mark uh, uh, mark says also uh, when doing this kind of comparisons, providing a, a GitHub link to the source would be good. I have also created repositories for the code here and here. I will have them uh, in the description of the video. So all these points that uh, Mark raised are correct. I fixed them and let's go to the benchmarking. Let's see that this is not working. Excellent. And let me open also the Rust uh, URL, which is also don't, not working. So let's start from here. We will come here. We will say .NET run release. Let's see that it is working. It is working. <coughs> uh, first name one, and the last user is uh, first name one thousand, last name one thousand. Framework .NET six. So we are correct with our result. So let's start benchmarking. Copy. Uh, the response to these videos were um, quite substantial, I would say, and I intend to create new videos. Here I have to do's to create various videos for uh, various frameworks like the Minimal API or Java Spring VS Rust, the Drogon, etc. etc. Uh, so if you want, you can subscribe to check these videos out when they are ready but I think it is a, an interesting topic to explore this benchmarking in order to be able to identify uh, what tools maybe should uh, you use for your uh, needs okay uh, we are done here let's kill it and let's go to Rust not working not working so let's say cargo run release it is running we get our users 1000 users here too so let's go to benchmark Let's see the differences uh, of these changes to the results. Again, to recap, the changes that we did is that we initialize this list to the to this capacity in order to avoid uh, re, um, redoing the array in memory. Uh, <clears throat> 
and we do exactly the same in Rust. So that was a, a very good observation. Plus we use the index in order to provide the numbers and not a static number. So let's see. Okay, we are done and we are ready to start um, our comparisons. So let's come here. Time taken for tests, 51 seconds, 40 seconds for Rust. Uh, request per second, 9,793 per second. Request per second, 12,283. Uh, so Rust is uh, outperforming by approximately 2.5 thousand uh, requests per second. Time per request, uh, 104 milliseconds, 83 milliseconds. <clears throat> Time per request uh, across all concurrent requests, uh, approximately the same with the previous uh, number here and here. So one, uh, 102 and 81 milliseconds here. And the transfer rate, eight, 849,477. So let's say 850,000 kilobytes per second approximately. And here we are again in the million, 1,200,000. Uh, 57,054 kilobytes per second so a lot of difference in the transfer rate too and here are the percentages of the request served within a certain time uh, in milliseconds uh, and we, as you can see for uh, the, 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 the less available time that we have in our data the uh, this metric here and this metric here you see that uh, for 50 percent of the requests rust needs uh, 83 milliseconds whereas uh, .NET needs 100 uh, milliseconds which is not a huge difference but nevertheless it is a difference and as you can see, the, you can see the, the differences across the board. And again, we have a quite long uh, request for Rust, which again is ve seems very interesting to me how this happens. But in any case, as you can see across the board, uh, Rust needs less time to execute the requests uh, than the .NET. So these were the metrics. Uh, th kudos to Mark who pinpointed these differences. <coughs> so we fix them. Uh, Mark, yes. Thank you, Mark, for your uh, observations. We fix them. We rerun the benchmarks and these were the results. So thank you for watching and have a great day.